Hi, this is Todd with The Land of Math. So maybe you've been in this situation before where you or your students are trying to make circles and it is a struggle. No matter how hard you try, you just can't get it. The kids are getting frustrated. They say it's impossible. You're wondering what is the trick? Well, I have a couple little tips and suggestions here that kind of help you out with the process. So first of all, before you even start get going, start to go, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have a good compass. Now, what I find with the compass, the simpler, the better. Don't spend a ton of money on some real fancy compass with a lot of gadgets. Simple is best. This compass right here is the one we use at our school, and there's really nothing fancy about it. It's really straightforward. Um, we got it on Amazon for relatively cheap. I don't know if it's the cheapest compass, but it's pretty cheap compared to the others. So this compass right here, what you're looking for is a compass that when you open it up, it holds its shape. Some of the compasses, will, as you use them, will get loose and, and just kind of get real floppy. You want something that holds its shape and it's nice and firm when you kind of move it back and forth. Another thing you need to try to make sure you do is the point of your pencil and the point of the compass need to be the same length. If not, that'll kind of throw your circle off a little bit there. So that's kind of the first thing when you're looking at this. Just keep it simple, points are the same, and just make sure you have something that, that's firm and holds its shape. Any compass over time will eventually start to get loose and you just kind of have to pitch it at that point. But these seem to do a nice job. Now, as you're getting ready to make your circle, you want a nice soft surface in which you can put the point of this compass into. Now, a lot of students at, at our school, we have a hard, firm desk. And so if you take a single sheet of paper and put it on the desk and then try to draw a circle, it's a lot more difficult. It's not impossible, but you want this point to have something to kind of dig into and go down into. So I'll have the students grab like three or four sheets of paper and put them all together and draw on the top one. That way this point has somewhere to go. Now, I'm also using a uh, cutting pad, which also makes it a little nicer for me. So whatever works for you, whether it's a few sheets of paper or a cutting pad or some softer surface is ideal. Now, once you get ready to go, the point here, when you get ready to start your circle, you want to put a point, a little dot, right into your paper. Now, what's nice about the little point is, let's say you're getting ready to draw your circle, and you're starting to draw it, and as you're going around, all of a sudden, you get distracted, somebody bumps you, whatever happens, and all of a sudden, you're out no longer right in the center. If you don't have that little point, you're probably almost never going to be able to match it up perfect. But if you have the point, you can go find it, put it right back in there, and continue on making your circle. Now, with the compass itself, when you're getting ready to make the circle, you have to open it up to the desired um, uh, size you want your circle to be. So, for example, if you really don't care, just open up to whatever size you think is going to work. Now. Spin it around before you actually start doing anything to make sure it's going to fit on your paper before you do any drawing. I can't tell you how many times I'll see somebody go right here and they'll start to spin around and their circle goes right off the paper. So always check it before you start to draw. Now, let's say you do have a certain type of size of a circle you want. So for example, let's say you want a four inch diameter, which is a circle with a distance of four inches across. The opening of this compass is basically equal to the radius, which is halfway across. So if I want it to be four inches all the way across, I will open my compass up to two inches. And when I go to make my circle, the first part of the circle will be two inches. And then when I come over here, it'll be two inches here. So equal to four inches. So we've made our hole. We've opened our compass that we made sure it fits. And what we're going to do now is when we're getting ready to go, there's a couple key things. Number one, make sure when you hold it, you hold it on the little handle at the top. Don't grab it. So I have some of my students that try to hold it like a pencil. With the compass, you want to think of kind of like a basketball player. If you're familiar with basketball players, they have something called a pivot foot. And in basketball, if you move your pivot foot, it's a travel and you lose the ball. This little point right here is like a pivot foot in, ba in basketball. You want your pressure to be on this. You want very little pressure on the pencil. 
a matter of fact, a lot of times when I make my circle graph, when I go around the first time, there's like little gaps because I'm holding it so firm down here and so light on the pencil that maybe I don't get every single little part of the circle, so I have to go back and trace it. But pressure here, very light here. Now, you need to be gentle when you're turning it. A lot of people, when they're trying to spin or make the circle, they're pushing down like a gorilla. And when you do that, it's going to cause the compass to open up. So you want, it to, you want to be gentle with it when you're doing it. So I go ahead and I put my pencil back in the hole here. I have it right here. I'm going to hold it here. I'm going to be kind of light with it. As I get ready to make the circle, I'm going to lean it the direction I'm going. I want to go clockwise, which would be to my right. So I'm going to lean it a tiny bit to my right. So they start to go, I'm going this direction. I like to think of it like a broom or a rake. You're pulling it behind you, not like a shovel or a plow, where I would go like this and kind of move it like this. If you make it like this, what's going to happen is going to make it very choppy, and it makes it a greater chance that your compass is going to come out of the hole. And it's just a greater chance of frustration or something not going right. So make sure you're kind of just leaning in the direction you're going. If I'm going this way and I decide I want to go back the other way, so like I want to go counterclockwise, I lean it back to the left, and I just go back this direction. So the whole time, whatever direction I want to go, I just lean it a little bit that way. Now, you have to be careful not to lean it too much, because what will happen with a lot of people is as they're coming around, the more they go, the more they start to lean. And at a certain point, what's going to happen is the little point is going to kick out. And when you do that, now you get like a squiggly line. Now, it doesn't matter here because I already have the circle, and obviously I have my point too. But what you want to do is make sure you're not leaning too much, okay? Um, and like I said earlier, be gentle. You can always trace back over it later to make it darker. So if you really want it dark, you can come back over and trace over if you like to do that. If you get caught in like one of these little sticking points. So sometimes when I'm spinning around, I get right to here, and it's getting kind of like wonky on my wrist. You can always just kind of hold it for a second, reposition your fingers, and then keep going. So same thing here, I'm going around, and somewhere about right here, it feels weird. Now, you can just kind of twist your fingers here, but if you need to hold it, just hold it on the pivot, not by the pencil, and just reposition your hands, and you can just keep going. Okay? You can always retrace. When you're all finished with your circle, where the little hole is, I always give it like a little extra jab because I want to make sure I do have that hole. I take my pencil and I put a little dot right there in the center. And this will help me out, especially if I'm doing like, say, uh, a circle graph or a pie chart. It's kind of nice to find the center of the graph. Um, and it's also nice, too, if you're just trying to find the center of your circle for radius and diameter. Um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully it was helpful. So just remember the key things again. For the compass... Firm, holds its shape well, the points are matched up. Make sure you have a few sheets of paper or at least a, a pad like this one. Um, make sure you have a hole in the center so if you get you know, bumped or anything, you can go back to it. Um, open your compass up if you want it to be a certain length. Just remember this is the radius. Hold it on top, be gentle, lean at the direction you're gonna go. And if you get sticking points or, or something goes weird, Hold it right here and you can reposition your hands. Hopefully this was helpful and thank you very much. And if you're interested in subscribing, that would be awesome. And we'll catch you the next time on The Land of Math. Thanks.